and we're here at the ID Tech X show. And hi. Hi. So who are you? My name is Mick Saffron, and I'm advisor in Cardiomac here, which is a cardio monitor device company. And we are uh, monitoring uh, cardiovascular uh, system of their human beings, 24-7, uh, seven days uh, uh, battery charge, and it's waterproof. It says saves lives. Yes. So how is it saving lives? So as you may know, there are so many people who have uh, cardiovascular diseases, as well as they have problems with their heart and uh, uh, understanding of how does uh, uh, their heart may fail or work like stroke and so on. So uh, our system was this uh, cardio monitor device, which is hardware. Uh, this is one of the prototypes uh, and it's uh, series three. But we also have like more uh, right now in the model four and so on. So as you may see here, um, it's uh, co uh, connected with a uh, uh, phone through Bluetooth. And after that, from the phone, it's analyzed and goes to, to our cloud. So we also use these patches. Uh, so it will be connected uh, uh, to the body through these patches, as you can see right here. It just slap another one and it goes right here under your chest and it monitors uh, 24 7 as I mentioned uh, so monitors heartbeat is it ECG or what is this yeah it is ECG and uh, it's not only ECG uh, as you can see here it's also monitoring more than uh, this it's also uh, fall detection activity and uh, body posture so it's uh, also we have AI based uh, breakthrough solution in patient monitoring. So is this for people who are very sick or is it going to be for everybody? Uh, eventually we want it to be for everybody, but at the same time for people who want to track their cardio uh, cardiogram. But in many cases it's seniors. So our target audience is 45 plus people who already have some uh, problems with their heart and uh, with this uh, solution you can notify your user as well as relatives as well as uh, doctors and uh, uh, instantly uh, ask for ambulance Smart if push, needed. Green, information, motivational, cautionary, critical. So how does it get critical? Once it's critical, if there's some real yeah, problem. if there is if there is problems with a heart disease like a heart attack or stroke, so you will understand that uh, something goes wrong. And uh, on these graphs, you can see like uh, our competitor is doing some graphs, but at the same time, our desktop version of the app it shows uh, doctors all their all this important information of our, about uh, cardiogram and uh, from this uh, they can analyze and make some prediction and uh, make diagnosis so we are not making diagnosis but at the same time we are not sport device we are medical device that's why we are now on fda approval uh, track so uh, your startup yeah it's three from where? years so we are originally from ukraine we are uh, registered in new york I'm here in Sunnyvale, uh, but our core team and R&D office in Ukraine, Kyiv. Uh, our CEO and CTO, their spouses, oh. their... Uh, yeah, just your mic. Yeah, maybe you can continue with my mic. Your, your CTO, what do you say? A CTO and CEO, uh, their husband and wife. And uh, yeah, so they're like living in Ukraine and in Europe, in Dusseldorf, Paris, all over Europe. So they travel a lot and it's a big challenge to, to build a startup as a family and at the same time be a family. You from Ukraine? Yep, I am. Yes. All right. Uh, so is this going to be huge and saving millions of lives? How soon? We think like in next uh, year or two, we will have uh, uh, FDA uh, trials done and uh, we will be on the market. Our strategy is B2B2C, meaning we are working with cardiologists and everyone who is interested to collaborate with us, who have uh, access to uh, hospitals and would be interested to, to test it in the United States, we are open for everyone, as well as uh, uh, cardiologists who want to promote it to their clients, to their patients.
Are there some uh, products like this on the market, something like that? Uh, or is this uh, very unique? Well, it's unique in terms of uh, uh, technology because we have couple patents but at the same time like there are a couple competitors on the market but they are not same good as we are so you can see here like there are uh, some of those uh, uh, reusable max recording time battery life battery life is actually very important because uh, uh, in many cases they are like one time usage or couple days and you have to recharge it again as Apple watch for example you have to recharge it every day and it's not medical device so some other medical devices have three or uh, days for example or even six months but for six months it's one-time usage and you can just like put it in the garbage in our case it works uh, uh, up to 10 days uh, in many cases it's, uh, like good good rate is seven days I would say and after that, like you can recharge it in just a couple hours it takes to recharge and you will have a, a device again. I would say it's like thousands of rechargeable uh, uh, modes, you know, like you, you can recharge it as many like thousands times. So is, is Zelensky investing a lot in this, telling you this is a big priority and you go, go, go? Oh yeah, you will figure out it pretty soon once we will have uh, some uh, announcements of the winner we hope we will win because uh, our device is very unique in this uh, as well as uh, uh, there are many many competitive advantages that we have especially data you know we started this as wireless uh, hardware device uh, as well as uh, software AI date uh, software on AI but it came up to data everyone wants this data and uh, we are ready to uh, talk and we are already talking with many companies, big companies who want to have this data from Ukraine and overseas because in, in the United States it's not so easy to uh, because of privacy policies, right? But overseas, especially in Ukraine, it's open. There is no such a big regulations as, as in the United States and that's why we have our R&D office there. So inviting everyone to join us in Ukraine. And uh, is there a lot of cool startups and companies in Ukraine, or you're the best? Wow, you know some of them, you know some of them. We are not, well, we are very promising. We are, I would say, like, there are only a couple unicorns from Ukraine. And uh, actually, for example, for example, Petcube, uh, Ring, you know Ring, yeah. right? Uh, was uh, acquired by Amazon. Uh, it's in every door here. Yeah as well as uh, people ai and there are a couple founders who are from ukraine such as jan kum uh, from whatsapp so and uh, a lot of companies are from ukraine who are potentially big uh, and unicorns but at the same time like it's a lot of technology in Kiev and Ukraine. Yeah, uh, it's a like lot of uh, one of the best, right? In infrastructure the world. is going on right now. Like people invest, government supports a lot, and uh, uh, we encouraging everyone to come and just come there and see how good uh, Ukrainian IT people are. They're like the most amazing. Like we, we did like we on, we have only ten data scientists, and uh, uh, those people are incredible. I mean, like. Every time, like someone ask, like approaching us here and asking, like, how do you know all this data? How do you analyze it? Only ten people. It's impossible. Here, you you will have to have like so many of them, and it will be very huge budget. In Ukraine, it's much easier. There is no regulations. There is uh, less taxation. There is uh, all the doors open for you, kind of. And we encouraging everyone to come and see how it is in Ukraine. Nice. And uh, do you think the Zelensky, the new president, is going to do something good <laughs> with this stuff? He, he's already is he going to boost the IT stuff? He's uh, because already. Because the hope of the future economy, right? Yeah. It's not only a hope. It's uh, already a reality that uh, uh, about 7% of uh, Ukrainian GDP comes from IT. And they're boosting it even more. So we have many uh, conferences right now on I, uh, IT as well as uh, on uh, some investment forums in Ukraine. Uh, I know that the World Economic Forum in Davos will have a Ukrainian pavilion where you can find uh, all new technologies that Ukraine have uh, in Davos from Ukraine. 
as well as uh, on um, there is fund of IT funders right now they are working on it uh, to promote uh, IT sector of Ukraine and entrepreneurship of course cool so uh, and uh, in the next two or three years you you'll join the EU right hopefully we hopeful so yeah and then uh, everything is gonna go crazy Ukraine is gonna be uh, the new Silicon Valley that's what we are thinking and that's what uh, uh, some big minds like uh, Soros, if you know. Uh, is he the Ukrainian guy? No, I'm joking. No, he is not. No? But he invests hardly in Ukraine, especially in IT sector of Ukraine. So there are a couple, couple big uh, names who are uh, coming to Ukraine. Uh, Jack Ma from Alibaba just visited Ukraine a couple weeks ago and uh, had He's a meeting. He's going to make a Ukrainian Alibaba. We hope so. We want to have like more investment in Ukraine and Alibaba. We don't really care about uh, uh, where this investment comes from unless it's, uh, it's not from Russia. <laughs> <laughs> but soon you're going to be selling all your land, right? So uh, do you want Chinese people to buy your land? I'm joking. But, uh, <laughs> there, uh, there is uh, something the, is happening there. The, yeah, uh, our president Zelensky just announced that uh, uh, there will be a referendum where people should decide if uh, land should be uh, sold to, to uh, international people and international organization, to foreigners. He already so, decided it has to be sold, sold? to Ukrainians. Yes. It's liberation. But with referendum, maybe also foreigners. Yes. And this is a big deal because uh, with land, with open land for everyone, it comes security to Ukraine first and it comes big investment to Ukraine. So this is big. Uh, it's thing the biggest for us. country in Europe, right? It is. So there's a lot of land. It is. Un unfortunately, it, uh, part of this land was annexed by Russia. You heard about Crimea yeah, Peninsula. But you have to find a solution for this. Just make peace. Make peace with the guy, right? We are. That's we are easy. good to make peace as yeah. soon as they will return our land. Yeah, of course. Well, of course, they should. Well, they, they can't just take yeah, it. No, we want. We, we want peace with everyone, with all our neighbors. But uh, you always have to think twice once you make any agreement with Russia because as uh, Winston Churchill told I think there is any agreement uh, role like signed with Russia versus same value as toilet paper sorry okay <laughs> okay okay cool uh, I hope there's not too many Russians uh, commenting I'm joking okay let's see I just all jokes yeah. we want yeah. peace and want peace stability and friend, in the region friend, and uh, friendship, friendship. Yep. yeah cool.